Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Happiest Hour on Earth. It feels so good to be back. We took last week off because our kids were sick, and now this week, I'm doing to the honors. Yeah, if I sound a little... Uh... <laughs> little stuff here than usual that, that would be why um, yep. we were uh, naive enough to think that we would somehow escape the sickness and be good through this week but no this thing uh got us both over the weekend as soon as yeah. the weekend hit i was like oh your turn and yeah. it is extending at least for me into the week it's been... i recovered pretty quickly and the sad yeah. thing is that our son got sick on the three-day weekend we had right yeah. so that Sunday, he started feeling sick, and we're like, "Ah, oh, well, this upcoming weekend at least will be all better." And then we got sick. Yeah. So it's officially been, I think, a, a week, week and a half that all of us have been <laughs> sick. I feel pretty good, so I might maybe carry on a little bit more. It depends on how how you feel. And I'm if she's gonna be a little sniffly, just uh, yeah, 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 just just, just forgive her for that. Stuffiness <laughs> is is rough. So yeah, if you have to carry the conversation, yeah, I apologize, but. We're here. We're doing it. We um, are. Look at us go. Next week, we're going to be 100%. It's going to be the best episode we I ever hope recorded. so, <laughs> because it has been gnarly. It is our first time having like a whole yeah. house of sick people, including our five-month-old who has not been sleeping great. He wakes up coughing constantly, yeah. and it's been so sad and just not fun for anyone at all. Yeah. So uh, we're making so it. We're surviving, and we hopefully this is the tail end of it and we will be a hundred percent yeah i know i hope so too and I'm you ready. know what else is sick disney's sick is that a weird transition but weird disney <laughs> is sick and awesome and so tonight we sick are going to be talking yeah sick in a good way we're going to be talking about why walt disney world is better than disneyland and if you were following us last episode we did two weeks not ago. Yeah, not last weekend but uh two weeks ago we talked about why disneyland is better than walt disney world so we're kind of highlighting the strengths of both parks and this is going to be a very fun and interesting episode tonight because we have only been to walt disney world one time yeah 2018 we were always those people as just a refresher disneyland's our home park we always had this idea in our mind that Nothing could beat Disneyland. Disneyland's the original. I don't even want to go to what the like that kind of thing. Yep. And then we went and had a blast. And so you're going to be hearing from that perspective tonight. And there are a lot of things that Walt Disney World does better. And I cannot wait yep. to jump into these. I know. And we got yeah. a lot of responses from you guys on Instagram yeah. who have been quite a few more times than us yeah. and have great things to say about it. So oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll to start. Same here. Let's go ahead and get this episode started. All right, so before we jump into our list of why Walt Disney World is better than Disneyland, if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Maybe we should aim for 750 first. We have 10 <laughs> yeah. to go to 750. So maybe let's a see better if we can do it. goal initially. Yeah. And then but... after that, it's. Thousand, then ten thousand. Come By on, the end of the year, for you guys sure. will get us there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then if you're listening on a podcasting platform, go ahead and click that follow button. Review us if you want. That helps out our show so much. We love you guys, and thank you so much for all your support. But as we jump into this now, we knew that Disney World was going to be a lot bigger, so we knew that ahead of time. What we didn't really expect, and I think this was a huge one for us. Mm -hmm. And this is our number one, why Walt Disney World is is better than Disneyland. These aren't really ranked, but our yeah. first one here is that you feel fully immersed if you're staying on property. Yeah. And we usually never stay on property at Disneyland because those hotels are insanely expensive. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be talking about some prices here soon. But what I loved about Walt Disney World was as you're driving to just the whole entire resort you you see like the highway signs change a different color and you're like yeah. we are in like, a world we're of disney, in disney. Yeah. and <laughs> it's huge and it doesn't feel there's nothing else really around it where you are reminded about you the know real world about florida <laughs> and when you're at disneyland you're reminded of the anaheim streets yeah. um and so when you're there you are totally in it you know it is so so exciting and that was one of our favorite things because we did stay on property and you're just wherever you are you're just like 
was totally surrounded by Disney. Yeah. It's amazing. I know. It really was so great. I mean, we stayed initially at Pop Century, mm-hmm. which is like, you know, one of the like lower budget yeah. options in Disney World. But even so with like maybe less theming, it, I mean, I don't know. There's a good amount of theming, I guess, yeah. but it's still just really immersed us in the world of disney i I felt like we were just like in it it was Mm. so fun and every single resort is probably the exact same way yeah yeah they just have so much space to work with to where (laughs) tons of resorts so many resorts way way more which we'll also talk about later but i mean with that much space it's like you know you are you are in you are in Disney. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. And it's just it's and, a different vibe. Yeah. And one of the things we brought up last episode about Disneyland, one of the perks was that you can walk to the parks from the Good Neighbor Hotels, which is a perk in a, in a way because if you don't want to pay the Disney prices, you stay at a Good nor- Neighbor Resort and you're actually closer than a lot of the resorts at Disney World. So yeah. that's the one thing about Disney World is you're still really far away from the parks depending on... On the hotel, but you still feel Disney where you yeah. sleep. But we wanted to look at the prices here real quick because this is the insane thing. At Disneyland, we never stay on property because there's three resorts, three hotels on Disneyland property. And we just picked some random dates, uh, some random dates, just three days. Uh, so we picked October 10th through October 12th. I think that was like a Thursday through Saturday or something like that. And mind you, the more days you're going to be staying the cheaper the the yeah, hotels usually be. Gets, yeah. So Disney World, you're usually going to be staying for longer. So you could really drive that price down. But the cheapest Disneyland hotel during this random period I picked was the Pixar Place Hotel. And that comes in at, drumroll please, per night, $546 per night. Cheapest. Cheapest. Cheapest of the three on and, property. Yeah, and if... Prepare yourself for the most expensive here. The Grand Californian per night, 948 bucks, a thousand bucks a night, a night. Add taxes onto it. Yeah. Like why? Yeah. How? I know it's an amazing resort. My parents and I, we stayed there when it, before it was that much. It has gone Um, up significantly, obviously. Yeah. But it's, it's just insane. People will pay it though. So that's why they keep, you know, having those prices. But now let's compare Disney World, because there's so much more, I was going to say <laughs> competition that it drives the price down, but no, it's <laughs> so many more options that they, they, um, they give you that flexibility if you still want to stay on property, um, and pay yeah. less. So the cheapest one at Walt Disney World is the all-star resorts. Um, and for that same period, it was $193 instead of 546. And if you're staying longer, that probably drives it down even more. The best bang for your buck. I mean, we loved Pop Century and those are renovated rooms and you have a Skyliner there. So you get to go to, you know, some of the parks like really, really have it at the time. We didn't have it at the time. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. uh, We didn't get to experience it. Yeah, I think it goes. I think the pop one goes to Epcot. I could be wrong. I think I that's think where it goes. Right. But that one for the same nights, two thirty nine. So it's st- like half of the Pixar Place one, which is the cheapest and similar price. Animal Kingdom Lodge for that same period, five fifty nine. So you're paying ten bucks more a night, and you're staying at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's insane. That yeah. So hard so to crazy. believe that that the cheapest. The cheapest here in California gets is, you the animal. Gets you literally yeah. just living in a safari. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's insane. And no matter what you're gonna do, you know, I just love the variety about it. You could pick, you know, something really expensive, really amazing, or you could still get the Disney feels with a cheaper price. And that's something that some of our listeners brought up too, because we heard from some of them. We heard from at Rocks Lehman who said. The range of options for hotels by Disney and better perks for staying at them than the perks you get at Disneyland, um, which is yeah. so true. Uh, we also heard from at Plan Disney with Jill, who mentioned a few things here. She said the Skyliner, People Mover, variety of resorts, and then the Nomad Lounge. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's awesome. Yeah, I know we didn't get a go when we were there. No. Yeah, it's such a short time. It's it's 
And that's something we're going to bring up too. You need a lot of time at yeah. Disney World. Um, and then we also heard from at Pirates of the Polynesian, which this is so true. One of the best parts about Walt Disney World is not being surrounded by Anaheim. And it is so true. Yeah. Disney, just the story of Walt Disney when he was creating Disneyland, orange groves, open space. And once he built it, everyone came in and just crowded the place with hotels and yeah. gas stations and stores and all this stuff. And yeah, he was just like, man, I can't <laughs> do what I really want here. You yeah. know, he obviously loved Disneyland. It was his home park, his favorite, but he was looking to Walt Disney world because he had all the space there. Uh -huh. And it's just so amazing that we have that space, but yeah, not being surrounded by stuff that takes you out of the Disney magic, you know? I know. All right. So next on our list is going to be, as we mentioned, the size of yeah. Disney World. I know in our previous episode, we said that the size of Disneyland was also a perk because it really just kind of depends how you look at it. I think yeah. that the, the smaller size of Disneyland can be much easier to navigate, can, you know, has easier a lot of hopping. benefits yeah. exactly um, to a smaller park in that sense. But the size of Disney World is incredible. It is I incredible. mean, it's, as we were saying, like, I think that there's the 30 something square miles that are not even touched yet. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a lot. So much to work with yeah. and we'll continue to be able to work with over the coming years. Yeah. Which is just awesome. I mean, yeah. Disneyland is so maxed out and it's, it's noticeable. It <laughs> is know? noticeable. Yeah, you feel yeah. it. It's it's um it's definitely a different vibe overall. Um, and having the space that Disney World has, like I mean, literally just walking throughout the parks, I could feel the difference. Everything mm -hmm. just feels like more spread out. Like you just don't feel like you're like neck and neck with people yeah. all the time. Like they made they made everything to feel like definitely more breathable. I would Which say. you could use right now, more breathing. I would love to <laughs> have some more breathing. Yes, yeah, so that would be great. Um, but yeah, I mean, the parks alone, so much bigger. There's four of them, you know, double the size of here. Mm -hmm. um, so, so many Two different extra water, water parks. Yes, too. water parks yeah. as well. I mean, there's just so much. There's just endless things to do. The, yeah. the, you could go to Disney World hundreds of times, probably, and yeah. not see everything. Yeah. Like, it literally, it, it blew my mind how we had a week straight there. I think we were there for a week. Yeah. Um, and we barely, barely scratched the surface. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was, there was so much, so much that we didn't get to do in that time. Yeah. But, and all the, all the parks are so unique too. And I think someone mentions this actually too, where, you know, we have Disneyland, we have California Adventure, although California Adventure doesn't really feel California. California anymore just is a yeah. lot of IP in there, but they have Animal Kingdom, which is definitely still has some intellectual property in there, but it does feel so different than anything else we have. Epcot feels very different too. I know they're getting more, they're putting more Disney into that, yeah. but they are so unique from what we have over here. Um, totally. Our Disneyland's better than their Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you disagree with me, but I do agree. The um, OG. With that. But yeah, and we love California Adventure too, but man. All four parks feel so different from yeah. each other, which is which is so cool. Really but there's do. also a lot to do, not just at the parks, not just at the water parks, but at Disney Springs too. Uh -huh. um, their Disney Springs is huge. Actually, we're going to be talking yeah. about that in a in a little bit. But yeah, man, there's endless exploring options there, and also at the the resorts because there's so many resorts. People like to go to restaurants there, yeah, um, walk the grounds, do some. You know, activities oh, yeah. at the resorts. I feel like every endless. every resort has its own like extracurricular stuff to do, basically. Yeah. You know, yeah. like there's all kinds of things that are tailored to kind of like that vibe, whatever resort you're staying in, there's yeah. like something to do there that's you know, within that vein, which is Man. so cool. Now I'm just itching to go to the poly. I know. And go to Trader <laughs> Sam's. Ooh, man. So good. So good. So fun. Yeah. I would love to stay there or honestly, any of Anywhere. them. Yeah. yeah. And we, got, we got to stay in um, Port Orleans Riverside yeah. for a couple of nights, which so was nice. incredible. Sitting Absolutely the, like, loved princess it. Princess suite or the royal rooms or something. Yeah. 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 It was beautiful. It was so great. But yeah, there's there's just endless other options too. I would yeah. stay in any of them. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> so yeah, um, a lot of other people had the same comment to make as well. We yeah. had uh, 
at all about Los Angeles who said it takes you two to three weeks to do it all, but Disneyland takes you two to three days. Yeah. So true. I mean, I wish that we could have had more time. Next we time we go back, trip. we are I think we got to just carve out days. more time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, especially now I feel like we'll need more break days. Oh my <laughs> like gosh. Yeah. And our resort days or like water park <laughs> days, which we didn't even get to do when we were there. Yeah. And it's going to be hard because it's going to be struggling with our internal Disney lover who just wants to go, 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 go. go, go. And mm. then our kids are going to be like, mm, and we're going to be like, hurry up. We only have a limited go. time. Yeah. Yeah. Parks but also us the kids. just, you know, being old now yeah. and getting tired. Actually, that's funny. Like park days are slower with the kids right now, but soon they're going to be the yeah, ones. Like, they'll be trying to so rush yeah. around while we're, uh, we're too tired. Yeah. They'll keep us uh, feeling young at heart. Yes, yeah. they will. I'm sure. <laughs> but also we heard from at Jolly Holiday underscore w dot leah <laughs> who said hate to admit it as a disneyland resort kid but the size disney world actually has space to sit and view parades and shows That's oh my gosh very interesting great yeah. comment because yeah. yes disneyland it's like you cannot oh be gosh, yeah. anywhere if you are not in a designated space for one of yeah. those shows, they're going to call you out. The, and make the you cast members with the lightsabers. <laughs> the lightsabers, <laughs> yeah. Like, move it, move yeah. it. You're like, oh my gosh, dude, I'm getting it. Yes. Yeah. Um, even if you want to watch something, yeah, it's it's not not an easy thing to do yeah. in Disneyland. So I feel you there. I I don't know. We saw, we definitely saw a couple of shows, although we saw the oh, uh, um, fireworks yeah, yeah. doing the dessert um Party. We saw happily ever after, yeah, during the, the yes. dessert party, which was whoo, which was awesome. amazing, so awesome, so much fun. We splurged, yeah, yeah. But you know, it's good to know that over there, there's not you know cast members telling you to move every time you're yeah. trying to watch anything. That was a relaxing way to watch it for sure. <laughs> yeah, for so sure. Nice. Uh, but we also heard from at Live Learn Dream Magic, who said more parks and resorts to experience a wide variety of things. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. So true. Um, also at Cami Michael Mikkel, not sure. Uh, <laughs> <who> <laughs> if said, you're listening to this episode, just like, <laughs> comment and be like it's pronounced <laughs> yeah let us know i think we actually had her comment on our disneyland one too so thank you for ah, for commenting yes good um, stuff to say she said uh every park is so unique also the water parks are amazing mm. and the restaurants are better yeah they, they do have a lot of yes food options just so yeah. many more options in general that's true yeah restaurants and i want to i want to check out the water parks we did not Check out the water parks last I time, know. but we, we definitely we need to because they look amazing and we love water parks. I know. Yeah. Hopefully our kids do. Our like older son who's three is not into water. He does yet. not like I'm water. Really He's hoping... the opposite of Moana. Yeah. Yeah. Complete opposite. I'm really hoping that that changes as he gets a little older because... Like we gotta, we gotta cool down when it's yeah. summertime and he's got Especially no Especially in Florida. Yeah. Yeah. Overall... The large size of Disney World, I would say, is a big perk. It's, yeah. You know, it's overwhelming for sure. Yes. Headed there from here was a lot for us to learn to navigate because <laughs> yeah. we were so not used to it. But I'd say overall, it's it's incredible yeah. how much space they have. It is. Yeah. So amazing. So something we mentioned in that section, Disney Springs. Yeah. I think we have to we have to bring it up because incredible restaurants, bars, activities like Tons of activities. There's also like a Cirque de Soleil show there, Crazy. which is drawn to life like a Disney um, Disney show over there. But it's it's a whole different experience. Where downtown Disney, it's like they used to have House of Blues there, so there was like concerts there too. Yeah. But Disney Springs, you could spend a whole I know day. and, and go into I, the different restaurant. There's like even that one um, place where they do crazy acrobatic shows it's like the i think it's like the edison is it the edison or something like that where it's like this gothic inspired um, oh yeah like That's a steampunk right. kind of place but all over the place jock Lindsay's hangar bar irish so pub that many. does like live irish music yeah. like, there's so much to and do and one there. of my biggest regrets from our trip is not spending more time at disney springs yeah. we were there yeah. literally the night that we arrived on disney property to get dinner yeah like all of us went to grab dinner which was great but then we just went back to the resort because we were tired and yeah. our and next it, day was going to be gonna our disney day yeah so we did not get to explore disney springs much at all which yeah. is heartbreaking because i know that there's just so much 
more to do. Yeah. And it was dark. So it was like, we couldn't even really see, I know. see that much, but yeah, I mean, I we love our downtown so Disney then. and we know where everything is, which is great. But Disney Springs has, but that's mainly like walk through, you know, maybe stop for food, but yeah. you could really see it all in a few hours, hours yeah, yeah. yeah which we do sometimes like because we have Especially family down there days, yeah and a lot oh, of times oh, yeah. we'll like if, if we're just down visiting family but not going to the parks we'll still just plan a day to go to downtown disney yeah. just to hang out just kind of get some of those disney feels which is always fun and expensive yeah <laughs> everything <laughs> you do in downtown disney is like more expensive than you would do anywhere else yeah, with yeah. similar restaurants or whatever, but it's just you still get a fun. little slice of Disney. But yeah, Disney Springs yeah. is just incredible. Is. Um, should I get the next one since that was kind of short, and then you get the the one after that? Yeah. Um, so another reason why Walt Disney World is better than Disneyland is more entertainment outside of the rides. And there's just so much to do yeah. over at Walt Disney World and Disneyland. We have like our little tiny shows right now there's nothing in our hyperion theater which is like the so main sad. the main you know place to watch a stage show but yeah. over in disney world they have stage shows mixed with other types of things that are maybe a little smaller but still really interactive and really fun but yeah. they have a beauty and the beast show they have festival of the lion king they have the little mermaid one that is they're working on it and i think i forgot when it's coming out but pretty soon uh, they have the Finding Nemo show. Which they I have the Indiana awesome. Jones stunt spectacular. Then they also have that Mickey's Magical Friendship Fair that's like at the castle. Yeah. And I might be missing um, one or two more shows, but it's just it's just amazing. I love that yeah. they could do a show at the castle due I to know. that stage. I know. Really we wa- I remember watching it. It was so and cute. Dying. It but was, it was so was hot. Yeah. So there is no shade right in front of the castle. Yeah. I felt is... like I was melting. I remember standing yeah. there just being like, I remember standing yeah. and like watching them dance, especially the ones with the the costumes on. Like, and I was how just are like, you alive? Yeah, how are you doing this? Man? <laughs> they must like get back there, just like take everything just, off whoo, and jump into a nice bath or if something. They, if if you're a cast member that is a part of one of those shows, I am so sorry. If it, if if you could have some way of like having like an AC or fan unit know, installed yeah. in those suits, man, that would be. Why don't they like prime. pack those little? Ice packs. Ice packs in the suit or something. That would be smart. Yeah. Oh, man. It's hot. I but would pass thank out. thank you for the magic that you guys provide because really yeah. those, those shows are so They're great. So but good. out there in the heat, man, you're making you're making people's day, though. So thank you for so sure. much. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, the the, uh, the entertainment. We were not able to see everything here. That like we didn't. The Lion King. Yeah. And I the Indian loved. Jones. Um, yeah. But we didn't see like Finding Nemo or Beauty and the Beast. We have to. Yeah. But with such limited time, you're like. Oh man, do I want to go on more rides that I haven't done before? Do you do I want to see the shows? But it's just so cool that they have that because the show's really hearing the music and seeing people act things out. Like, yeah, you see why Disney is who they are because of these animated exactly. And that's what I was just gonna so, say yeah. too. Like Disney has so many like avenues in the parks. It's like it's not just the rides. It's not just the shows. It's not yeah. you know the shopping or the characters. Like it's everything is what kind of makes up a Disney park. And so yeah. it's awesome, you know, just how Disney world has such a wide variety yeah. of all of those things. Yeah. It's so amazing. Love it. So next that we're going to talk about is just how much better the options are in Disney world for like adult type of activities, mm-hmm. i.e. Epcot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I mean, I guess in most of the parks, there's more options for that. But yeah. Epcot, you know, everybody wants to experience drinking and eating around yeah. the world, yeah. which is, you know, such a fun aspect of Epcot. We absolutely love the pavilions. And yeah, my gosh, I would go back in a second just I to know. feel like you saw the whole world in one day is like, yeah, so insane. And I, that might not like interest kids, right? Even if you don't drink. Yeah. But- eating around the world like yeah i think that is more of an adult thing because kids are like let's let's go to the rides but adults can appreciate all the different flavors of exactly you know, not to mention yeah. drink i'm sure that there's plenty of like Fun non-alcohol ones, yeah. drinks you oh know, yeah, like yeah, more, like mocktails, yeah yeah or just you know other stuff that's kind of like from that country yeah it's really good yeah 
But yes, just more more for the grown-ups to enjoy, I guess. Um, yeah. Epcot is just incredible. Yeah, and you know, obviously adults like the rides and everything too, but like if if someone's going to Disneyland, yes, California Adventure has, you know, things that are more like that. You get some of the taste, you get like, you know, drinks there and all that stuff, but it is so different at Epcot because it's like, it is kind of this whole experience. Yeah. Thing. Rather than just grabbing a beer, you could get... And it, not anywhere because they do have special things at Disneyland for sure. But just walking around the pavilions and like making a day of just trying that. Yeah. It's yeah. Definitely and all and all the other oriented. aspects of Epcot too. like I feel like Future World mm. and, you know, kind of some of those areas are definitely more so areas that adults are interested in more than kids. Yeah. Like uh, living with the land. Love yeah. that one. I it's guess some kids might be into that, too, but. Just feels a little bit more geared towards the grown-ups. Yeah. So, so sad we didn't get Westcott over here. Uh, Gosh, Tony Baxter, you're on yes, something there. The dream but maybe that died. someday. Yeah. Ugh, missed, missed opportunity. I know. Which I know. May, yeah, maybe one day. Who knows? We'll yeah. see. But um we did have some listeners who had things to say about the Epcot adventures as well. <laughs> so we had at JS Brewer 11 who said drinks around the world at Epcot priorities. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It'll be a fun time. Definitely an enjoyable time. We, yeah. we, we had a quite a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also heard from at Plan Disney with Jill who said simple answer is Epcot. Yeah. Exactly. So different. It's yeah. It's like nothing that we have here. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. But uh, along the lines of eating, because Epcot is a huge foodie paradise, food paradise, yeah. exactly. But this actually is not found there. Uh, our good friend at Patty Helsh said uh, cheeseburger spring rolls. Yeah. This was our friend. I wish, I wish those were at Disneyland. Gosh, yeah. those are the best. But we were in Disney World with this friend and her husband and... Um, we all fell in love crazy. with the cheeseburger spring yeah. rolls. I think we had as many as we could. And it was hilarious because we got them like in the middle of the day in Adventureland where you find them at the cart. And then yeah. at the dessert party, I remember oh, there was yeah. like a ton of them, even oh, though they gosh, weren't desserts. Yeah, like obviously yes. they're more of a savory snack, but somehow Counting like at the end the of dozen, it, there was man. so many of them and we were just like, load up like grab yeah. as many as you can because they were just like out oh my gosh you forgot about <laughs> that. That is yeah. so good. it was it was oh, magical dude, we were like go. they have the spring rolls here yeah and we actually recreated those yeah uh went back back in the like, good old days yeah. when we were making drinks and snacks on this show yeah every week we made the spring rolls and they were those are so good bomb. yeah those ones were decently moderate i guess to make um but the yeah. pizza ones that were at Epcot sometimes, and then sometimes they are found somewhere else. I think they're seasonal, right? Yeah. Those ones are super easy to yeah, make. Yeah, they're so easier. Like those as well, you can find the recipe because you don't have to prep the bean and stuff. Yeah. Like the cheeseburger ones, it's like a whole like ground beef and like onions and pickles and cheese. But and man, they hit sauce. hard. They Ooh. are so good. They're so good, even so, at home. So good. Ooh, yes. So great. Um. So yeah, food, drinking, adult activities. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Lots definitely. To do. A strength of Walt Disney World's. Um, For sure. But another reason why Walt Disney World is better than Disneyland is the enchanting extras. And so if you thought there was so much to do, rides, entertainment, resorts, Disney Springs, there's so much. There's also these enchanting extras that you could pay more for, but it's it makes it feel kind of like a, I mean, it is a destination. Yeah. Like you could do a whole month at Disney World, exploring the parks, and then also doing these other things if you had unlimited money. Am I right? Um, <laughs> but man, you could go scuba diving in Epcot. You could go fishing in the big, what's the Bay Lake or whatever? Yeah. I think it's the Bay Lake. There's multiple golf courses, mini golf, but also regular golf. Uh, you could swim with the dolphins. You could go horseback riding at one of the resorts. You could learn to surf at one of the water parks. There's like a wild Africa trek in um in animal kingdom so you do like your own private safari tour and then you you actually get out of your jeep and like start walking this course while there's i think animals below you it's crazy, crazy. we actually have an Never episode ending. on things you didn't know you could do at disney i could see if i could pop it up here if i remember while i'm <laughs> editing <laughs> but it's really cool because there is a lot of things at walt disney world also at disneyland too uh that you 
probably didn't know you could do. So definitely go check out that episode. We had a lot of fun talking about all that stuff. Yeah. Um, there's it's, so it's pretty many insane at, when we were looking at the episode and kind of researching, but yeah, because so you much. realize just how much space they do actually have to yeah. be able to offer even more things yeah, yeah. that are like big things. Like you need yeah. a lot of space to be able to run those types of activities. Yeah. And yeah, very cool to just see how many options there are. Not yeah. to mention just like the, not the wilderness lodge, but the um, camping at Fort Wilderness. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, like yeah, an experience whole... in itself too. Yeah. It's like, it's like being at camp, mm-hmm. but like in really nice like cabins like and like shows, yeah, and like shows really like cool, yeah. s'mores making, like just. There's a, yeah. so much cool stuff. That's, that's so cool. That's not like an experience, but it just feels like it almost could be lumped yeah. in with <laughs> that part of things. So true. Just so much, so much to do. Okay, so next up on the list is Magic Bands. Mm-hmm. I was a huge fan of these when we were there. Yeah. They made everything so easy, so easy, and just... Leave your wallet at home, baby. You got a magic band. Yeah. You know? It's like scary how easy it made everything. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. But I loved Just it while we were there. Bags with your yes. Magic band. Literally yeah. everything you need on one little band. Just like yeah. ID, ticket, resort. Is, it, is your, I, can you do ID like 21? I don't know if that's there. So I think you. I thought you maybe not. But yeah, I can't remember now, but, but yeah, take regardless, card, credit card. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> credit card, <laughs> fast passes at the time. That was, yeah, you yeah. Could, all they loaded would be up like loaded the, on photos. There. Yeah. Yep. It oh was man. The awesome. crazy thing is like, if you buy something at the store, use that magic band. Boom. Oh, to get into your room. Right. Magic band. Um, yeah. You like pay and you're like, you know what? Like send it to my room. And then you go there after your park day and like, <laughs> things are in your room right it's, it's yes. crazy oh it's all gosh. tied to the magic band but yeah you are so you are convenient. one with the system yes one with the magic there. exactly that sounds, that's how, that sounds a little more uh <laughs> <laughs> less big brother <laughs> exactly <laughs> a little easier to digest oh, um i loved the magic bands i've always yeah. wished that they would be here in disneyland and i think they are kind of here but they're not there's like no talk about it do. if yeah, they are here and it doesn't do see, yeah, that. it doesn't seem like there would be as much reason for that. I mean, I guess there would be if for if you'd have your ticket. Yeah, you can't well, really the do thing fast is, this is like there because that's not a thing anymore. Yeah, I think the difference here is that like at Disneyland, everything's so close. So you're like, I'll just bring my wallet. I'll just do you know all yeah. that stuff, and you're close to your hotel. But like at Disney World, there's you're going everywhere things are spaced out a little bit so just knowing that everything's on the magic as long as you got your magic band you're pretty much good to go i think i think having it here would still be nice yeah even just to have your ticket your you know if you're staying on property room info your card yeah just those couple of things does make it a lot easier yeah I loved it. I know. Um, so and we heard from at Country Critters who yeah. said, I like the fact they use their magic bands for everything. And when he says everything, everything. literally everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was great. It did make things so convenient for us yeah. on our trip. It was awesome. It yeah. was so great. So we have one more here from our good friend. It's <laughs> Lauren Renee. <laughs> yeah. And what we're going to be talking about here real quick, I think this is a good way to just kind of cap it off is it kind of goes along with the size and like what you were saying about the untouched space, but she brought up the space to expand and develop new experiences. And I think that's a huge plus that Walt Disney world has over Disneyland. I think it's the ultimate plus because it's, it, it spans more than just what's good now. It's like they will forever basically be able to create more and more as Mm -hmm. long as they have money to build they'll yeah. be able to keep building there and if if disneyland 4 does not get approved then anything new is pretty much going to be taking over something that's already existing so yeah. you're going to be like seeing something that you love go away to get something new so but at walt sad. disney world man the possibilities are endless there's so much room for expansion and so yeah i think especially looking towards the future you know if they do a fifth gate or whatever they can do whatever they dream up. And so that is, yep. that is, I think the biggest plus and such a good way to 
in this episode and and i'm very yeah. excited for the future of walt disney world it, it makes me really really pumped like disneyland will always be our home park that we love so much but yeah. disney world is just exciting because it really of all is that space. it is so different from what we're used to and i think that there's beauty in that and doing these two episodes yeah. it's been really fun to compare the two and to get answers from you guys about them because you know you can like fight about it all day saying which one's better yeah. but like there's no way to decide that because yeah. the things that make each one special are so different and there's there's just no way to say which one's better there really yeah. isn't because they each have too many things to they're say. so unique and yeah like you said special in their own way and we could say that about you know the international parks too i'm sure if we have gone to one we went to disneyland paris but we haven't visited the other ones but all of them are have, have their own special special thing yeah for sure yeah and um man speaking of international parks we just saw recently some some video footage of fantasy springs that's opening in tokyo disney sea looks, looks awesome so great and so i think when that opens in June, we're probably going to be doing a little episode on the the rides and everything and what yeah. that what that looks like. Because obviously we aren't going to Tokyo anytime soon, so we could spoil it. We'll watch POV videos. Yeah, we'll do a huge breakdown episode. We'll reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah of what we think of <laughs> of that because I think talking about something like that, we know where the trajectory of Disney is going. Right, like if they're doing new technology in Tokyo Disney, we're probably going to be seeing that. Come yeah over to the parks here so i always love talking about new things that disney is doing because it kind of tells and shows us kind of the path they're going yeah um, the trajectory of the rest of the parks yeah. kind of like with the new you know they they did the new animatronics i think first with the beauty and the beast ride in tokyo mm -hmm. um instead of the holographic faces like elsa and stuff like that and then they started bringing that technology you know here we're going to be getting it with uh with princess and the frog and those animatronics look great but yeah i'm sure it's kind of their, the international parks are kind of their their testing ground so yeah we'll probably see a lot of that stuff come here which is really really exciting but yeah cool stuff i i love so talking fun. disney with with my wifey here Same. and um it's been so fun and and we have you guys to thank for us to keep doing these episodes because your just support means everything to us but with that we will see you guys all next week when we're 100%. Hopefully see you then. we will be better. <laughs> yeah. See you then, guys. Have a good one. Bye.